Did you oh, see that, that white guy that killed the people that were blocking traffic? Yes, in some seven year old dude. Was that? <laughs> I did they edited it out the part yeah. right before he shot, though. Yeah. What I want to see what happened right before he pulled the trigger. That's me bullshit. Too. When you show me ten minutes of horse, and then it cuts, and there's a guy laying on the ground, and like, look at the bad white man. He killed that poor person. What? What'd you cut? What did you cut? Fuck mm -hmm. that. Smoke those guys. He got house arrest for that. Really? Did he really? The comments, so he, he even got to go home <laughs> faster. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. If he you block traffic, traffic so dude. far, it happened like two days oh ago. God, man. Yeah, blocking traffic is not cool. Very shitty. Unbelievably selfish and narcissistic. The the yeah, clip like I saw of that guy who did the shooting, like I, I only saw it briefly, but it looked like it was the most casual, like, I gotta get home for the game. <laughs> like he just, just blasted this guy and it was i don't know i think that's enough for, for maybe cool guy of the week but <laughs> <laughs> that guy fucking rocks dude I, I think anyone who stands in the there should be laws like like that's the next florida law like like someone should get desantis on this because he's all about this kind of shit if you're blocking like a major thoroughway or whatever uh however they want to define it like don't have to slow down at all you know, cars belong in the road. If someone's blocking the road, you can assume that they are trying to to end your life and proceed as you as you may. Which, in other words, run them the fuck over. I love when yeah. they run them over. I like when they don't even start to slow down. I like what, although when they slow down, seem speed up. Cars are kind of made for scooping people up and like rolling them off. It seems like like maybe they even designed that into them because it's safer. But mm. if you roll over some cocksucker, then he just gets. <laughs> They just get like rolled around over and over like a ball of dough up under the modern workings of a of a vehicle and like <laughs> yeah. drive shafts and it's all hot and dusty and sharp under there. And they always come out like that guy at the end of RoboCop who falls in the acid, like like all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I someone's got shit. a bigger problem than fucking ZO2 now, don't they? You <laughs> 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 just got yeah, real. Yeah, it turns it turns out those fossil <laughs> fossil fuels really are a killer, huh? Yeah, you really oh, don't care that much about those turtles now that shit just got. And I really I remember doing the BLM stuff when they would just like walk out on an interstate highway mm -hmm. in a curve, and there's that one clip of a car who's definitely speeding and probably drunk. But I mean, you know, it's it's late night. We're we're driving. We're having a good time. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but he hits these two women going like I don't know Mach three <laughs> like so fast <laughs> and just. Just slings her body so far like it's it, like a ping pong like a ping pong ball she bounced it was wild yeah yeah anybody in a road i got no um i got, <laughs> I got no care for road. it all like, <laughs> yeah, no it's for it's for you. cars you don't belong yeah. on the road yeah mm -mm. at risk of sounding a little bit insensitive they deserve it you know they're even asking <laughs> for it I, I i believe that yes i believe they are asking for it i mean if you know what were they wearing in the middle of the road you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know that too. Was yeah, it reflected? Yeah. You had your wearing a shirt gear that says, on? I dare you. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. What What would you stand in the road and protest for? Because literally nothing for me. There's nothing that would make me stand in a fucking highway traffic. Here's a recommendation I Black agree. hoodie is not good standing in the road wear. I, I promise you. It won't end well. Yeah, no. There's there's nothing I I would protest like standing in the middle of the road because I have the sentience to be mm -hmm. like, someone's gonna barrel into me and I'm gonna die looking retarded. <laughs> it's the worst like, way to go out. That's what, like I'm, I'm going to be my, my memory will be a meme of people sharing it around like get a load of this idiot yeah. like my just getting is, bounced. The protest should make the target of the protests have your full attention, right? Like mm. you should protest outside the White House or City Hall or I don't know some dude's house maybe or yeah. protest like in a way that gets the attention of the person you're trying to change his mind. If you just block up fucking I-95 headed into Philadelphia, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. All those people are not your enemy. Like the, yeah. the, the BLM guys destroying their entire neighborhood because they're upset. Yes. Yeah, that's it's like, what are you doing? Oh, it's like, Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've sold it on the Paige show before. Thomas. My my buddy who worked in uh who worked in Ferguson, Missouri in like 2013 or whatever it was when it kicked off there, he was he hated his job so much at the time and he still had to go like right into Ferguson the next day after those riots and go to work. And he was texting me. He's like, Taylor, the only thing I had going in my life was going across the street to McDonald's at this shit job. 
and they burned down the fucking McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they have to burn? He had no care about anything else to do with the protest, the Ferguson stuff, the Michael Brown didn't care. He's like, these fucking bastards. They burned down the only thing that put a smile on my face, which was some nuggets and buffalo sauce. Yeah. I don't get it. And some people make it racist. And, and and for me, I don't care what color they are. As long as like violence is being meted out on them. I really enjoy watching it. Like it could be a black guy or a white guy when they're just as long as they're getting ran over. And like, I like when they shoot them with the rubber bullets. It's sad that that guy that you mentioned got shot. It sounds like he didn't deserve it. But mm -hmm. normally I'm a big, I like it when they break out. The I was a bullets. big rubber bullet guy. Big yeah. time. I don't, it's a shame that the hoses got such a bad, you know, reputation in the sixties uh, because the hoses are so effective. I saw someone, I don't even know where they were, but it was a an Israeli protester. He had a uh, Israeli flag and he's like stood up too high or something. And, and they must have a scope on that bitch. <laughs> Cause they just like hit him with a spurt of water from that cannon and sent him flying. So I love the water cannon, but I want to see that stuff that we saw on the discovery channel in like 2002. I want to see that sticky foam gun. I want to see that stink ray that they were talking about. I want to talk about that sound ray. They had this one thing they advertised that that was like a giant microwave oven oh, type I saw ray, that. where it would you feel like it was 110 degrees, like baking your, like you know, <laughs> like you're just like Dude, getting that's roasted. so evil, like it's just, yeah. it's just like cooking. Break that from shit the out. Distance. Where's that <laughs> shit at? Like, like they made it seem like it was just right around the corner we were going to have all that cool shit for disperse and, and, and i stink love bombs I, I don't like that because you're, they use in, that you're involving so a lot of because now everybody who lives around there has to deal with fucking shit zach can you figure out what the israelis have some sort sort of special stink stuff that they use it's I, ineffective they, on indians oh i did i did see that like that news story where like they, they, it wasn't working <laughs> Indians. i read it online i don't know i saw that too and it's like it's this called, is and I, thought, I thought i thought it was a joke and it was like no it's apparently. called like skunk slime or something like, like it's got some it's got like a catchy name Dude, indians if we're talking about stat points indians have a hundred constitution they can just, like, they can deal they call with it anything. the skunk but apparently they shoot this smelly shit on uh palestinians i guess when they're getting rowdy um oh my god so that's <laughs> that's a stink cannon i think i'm Holy guessing wow. i tend to believe they're sh they're shooting something so putrid on these people that they have had enough they don't want their freedoms anymore <laughs> imagine getting covered in your face with stink juice whatever Dude. it is have you ever been pepper sprayed yeah i did it to myself mm -hmm. my third youtube video ever to try to get views it didn't work I, 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 same, same story. But Might work it, better I mean, now. It worked, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it really fucking sucks. It really fucking sucks. Um, which is why I like seeing when they use that too. You know, it, that would completely demotivate me in 99.9% per, of situations. Like, if we're mad about like some horse shit, like you pepper spray me and I'm completely out. Like, I'd have to what be not fighting for my weapon. Life. Would you want to have if a dude was getting aggressive with you? Pepper spray uh, me. I want pepper spray, pepper not spray. taser. If I definitely not taser. If oh, I could man. get um the bear spray, like the, the 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 one that looks like almost like a small fire extinguisher, and you mm -hmm. sort of squeeze like this, and has the big, um like like gaseous almost cloud of of effect, that would be the ideal weapon if you're going hand to hand with with anybody. Um, unless you're some ninja, I don't. You got to be some. You would be training with that fucking sword if you think you're going to be better with that than I am with my bear spray because you're going to. That completely change your mind when you get shot with bear spray, but with a taser, and the closer they are, um, the closer the two barbs are going to be when they impact you, you mm -hmm. your target. You know, so there's a Makes there's sense. an ideal different, and and the further the barbs are, that's the distance it's going to be affected by the arc of influence that's being pumped into your body. So if I get one in the top of your shoulder and one in your ass cheek, you are going to get dropped like a sack of taters because mm. everything between your top of your shoulder and your ass cheek, including your, your whole glute system is about to start like locking up at a, right. at, I don't know what the, but if the, they both hit the same nipple, I might be able to shake it off. You will. If, if, if I shoot you point blank and they, they go in from, they go into you six or eight inches apart, then it's just like a real bad stun. And especially if you're a larger person and you're strong and you're not a, maybe you've been punched in the mouth before there's different, you know, some people are tough. Some people are mm -hmm. used to getting hurt. They're like, Oh, you, this, you think this is the first this is the third time i've been assaulted today come on motherfucker <laughs> and then some people are like oh my god i've never been touched before well i'm shocked uh so if you get that i've seen lots of people just pull those things out 
or just sort of brace themselves and eat it and then come on, give me some more. But if they're apart, spread apart, you you drop like a sack of potatoes. But How again, long can a taser taste? Five seconds at a time. I don't know. Um, it, it, it automatically does five when you pull the trigger and then you can give them another five. Um, but there's a brief pause between the two. I, if you just kept rapid firing the trigger, it probably just rides you. It probably keeps you on a continuous ride. But when I shot Jeremy, I gave him five and I was so hyped up. You know, the adrenaline goes and, and time is just moving for you. So I, I was like, damn, that was not cool. That five seconds felt like one second to me. On, and, you know, we're mm -hmm. recording. So I gave him five more. And, <laughs> and, you know, he's a tough guy, but he was crying when he got up. It's, it hurts a lot, I'm told. But still, if someone's trying to get you, you're probably just going to piss them off and they'll take it away from you. And then they end up like torturing you with it or something. I'd rather have pepper spray. Dude, I, I got pepper gelled uh, directly into my eyes by my dad. Yeah. I, and I tried to read Dr. Seuss because I thought I could like do it and then read a little bit, but I couldn't. Yeah. If, if I had to play tag for a million dollars, I couldn't after getting pepper sprayed. Like it was completely. That's kind of what I did. So my video was I get pepper sprayed and then I try to shoot targets. It's like spray me. And then I turned around with a gun and try to shoot the targets. And I immediately was like, nah, not even a little bit. Yeah. Not even a little bit. Not even, not even it was a little bit. So bad, dude. It was like forty-five minutes of fucking absolute hell. You ever, you ever had it, Woody? Mm -mm. No. It's so I, uh, bad. Dude. Oh my god. Shit, I haven't been really any of this stuff. I, I've been. What's not tasered? What's like weaker stunned. than stunned? Stunned. I've been stunned. And those. It's funny. Like it, it gets you, and you're like, ah, you get a big reaction. But if you decide not to react, you can. It's, it's almost voluntary. Yeah, it's a. It's it's just pain, and it's mm -hmm. when if you're cutting me, I'm not just afraid of the pain. I'm afraid of the damage. I don't, mm -hmm. You know that that's why I'm so afraid of being cut. But when you're stunning, when you're getting stunned, you can kind of be like, "I fucking hurt. Stop fucking doing that to me. I can eat about three more seconds of this, and I'm gonna stop it. God, get it off me." <laughs> you can kind of pull one of those, especially yeah. if it's not like a cattle prod. I've never been hit by a cattle prod. I've only been hit by like army surplus like stun guns that you might see in a glass counter at a shop or something and mm -hmm. those hurt but you ain't incapacitating me and the idea that a lady might carry that in the hopes of defending against a, a male attacker i gotta tell you you might end up getting tortured with that or like made to comply with it yourself that's the most likely outcome um, right oh dude i'm gonna hit a little single without... on that bitch i'm taking her straight down <laughs> getting risk control and fucking making her taste herself <laughs> that's, that's, right. li that's literally gonna... how it would go so I'm going high double. crotch like John Jones when she starts going off bounce, kicking that other leg out. We're going down. Yeah. Arm neck chuck. It's absolutely every time. I couldn't, I couldn't beat up a five-year-old <laughs> off the pepper spray. There's just no way. <laughs>